you know, and it's pretty crazy out here and stuff like that. He's like, yeah, I just got out. Of, I just got out of the pen. He's like, I was in a pen for seven years. And I was like. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, wakey, wakey. Eggs and caramelized bakey. Oh, welcome to the 14th episode of Out of Fluff with me, of course, your host as Fluff or Fluffy. Dude, how are y'all doing today, boy? Come on now. How y'all doing? Hope that everything's going well. It's all cool and everything. There ain't no problems or nothing like that, man. Dude, I've been working this month. Boy, I'm about to tell y'all. I'm about to tell y'all basically about that. Uh, I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about also some of my, of what I've done in the military. And then... At the end, I'm going to end off with a little question and then kind of like, you know, I want to see what y'all thoughts on it or who y'all would pick, basically. But let's go ahead and get it started. Yeah. Oh, shit. All right. Yo, dude. So as y'all know, or probably not, I'm not fully sure because I don't remember exactly what I said in the last episode. And I'm not about to go back and watch it. I don't watch my own episodes. I don't know who watches their own episodes on YouTube, but I don't I don't ever watch mine. If it is, it's by accident. But. Dude. What the fuck was I about to say, bro? What? What? But yeah, basically. I've been driving a lot, so I've been doing Uber. Uber has been my main source of income right now. Until I can be able to get my certification so I can go back into my old job, which I'll explain what that what that is later. But yeah, man. Um dude, Uber. I wish Uber would pay a little bit more. Like it pays pretty good if you're just trying to get by, but it's definitely a side hustle thing. So don't let don't let people try to like get you into thinking that you can just make this fully off of a living. Dude, you got to put in dumb hours to be able to do that, really, to be honest. And that's kind of that's kind of what I'm not trying to do. I'm not trying to work no 10 hour shifts. I'm not trying to do six tens, dog. I'd, I'd be damn, bro. But nah, man, it's some of these people that get into my car are different, bro. And see, I'm I'm in L.A., right? So it's already going to be like, you know, most people are already like, yeah, dude, you're in L.A. Like, yeah, of course, it's different. But sometimes, man, you be getting some questionable, like, you know, there's some questionable people up in your car. Or right? like people that feel for me is the people that feel a little bit too comfortable, but they're cool, though. But. Sometimes, bro, you don't, you don't need to be telling me these things, man. Like, you know, ne you never had to say some of this stuff. Like, um, for example, like I ended up picking up a dude, and I was taking him over to, uh, what you call it? I didn't know fully where I was taking him at because honestly, if you give me the map, then. Bro, I'm gonna be like, okay, you're going to that point. All right, cool. But and then I'll know when I get there of like, oh, that's where that's at. But yeah, I did I picked him up? And next thing you know, bro, like I drove up and I was like waiting for him because I seen him, he was putting on a shirt. But then he gonna walk up to like the front window and then look at me, it's just like, like, yo, what's up? And I was just like, yo, what's up? And then next thing you know, he just Hops into the front seat, bro, which is crazy. All right. First off, for any of y'all that are taking Ubers, yo, hopping up into the front seat of an Uber is wild, bro. Don't don't be comfortable like that, bro. That's crazy. 
So that already that automatically happened. And dude was like, yo, what up with you? And I was like, yo, basically like what's popping? And then I asked him, I was like, yo, you ready to go? He was like, yeah. And so we ended up going ahead and driving off because I was like, man, fuck it. He's already up in the front seat. I'm trying to go ahead and get this ride done so I can get to the next because I need money. And so I ended up just taking off and dude, like, bro, first question that this man is going to ask me is like, yo, you know the route? <laughs> <laughs> like you like yo you know you know where you're going and i'm like i'm like yeah man dude i i just use uber's G i use uber's gps bro like it it kind of is mind-blowing of how people literally ask me if i know where i'm going I'm like you use uber bro you can literally track where you're going both phones has the same GPS route going at the same time, which is crazy. It's a crazy question to ask, but yeah, bro. I, I told him I was like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'm using like this GPS. I'm using Uber's GPS. So we going to get there. And then he was like, he was like cool and stuff. And then next thing you know, like he was like called somebody like just then started like kind of putting on the little mask that he had on just going like this side to side bro like i don't know why he was doing that but <laughs> yeah he was just bobbing and shit like <laughs> i don't know if he was shadow boxing some ghosts or what the fuck and that ghost was missing every single one of them fucking throws bro but dude that that was the thing and then he ended up um started talking to me about like music because i guess like he had it i guess he heard one of the songs i was playing and i play my own playlist so if you hop in my uber this is my playlist i'm not changing it i don't care put some headphones on don't roll down my window <laughs> and then next thing and then next thing you know he's like um he started talking about like music and stuff like that he's like oh do you have like bangers and stuff like that and i was like yeah, man, I got like a good amount of music. Like I showed him that I have like 1800 songs that's just on my likes. And that's not even included like other playlists and shit like that and stuff. But I showed him that and, I, and then I was like, yeah, man. And then, you know, it also depends on the time and stuff like that. I told him, bro, it's also the vibe, too. So you, you got different vibes and different times. So then yeah, I don't know. After I said that, bro, felt so comfortable to just start talking dog and next thing you know this man tells me he's like yeah you know and it's pretty crazy out here and stuff like that he's like i just got out of, i just got out of the pen he's like i was in a pen for seven years and i was like bro that's crazy and i was like in my head i'm like i never asked this man that question bro <laughs> i i didn't want to know because i didn't care all right but for some reason, he decided it was all cool to just tell me. All right. So, bro, if you ever see this dog, stop telling people that. <laughs> bro, stop. <laughs> like, especially in Ubers, man. Like, come on, bro. We got to calm down. Like, you're going to have to calm down a little bit, bro. But yeah, man, he told me about that. And the next thing you know, right after he told me, he was like, yeah, man, you know, I I even got the ankle monitor, bro. He pulled up the pants and was like, yeah, I, I even got the monitor on me and stuff like that. And like, we going to the courthouse right now. And I was like, oh, all right. Then even I, I was like, bro, I don't even want to ask this man what he did. But I really wanted to know what he did so bad. But I was like, nah, man, I'm not, I'm not going to ask him that. And I think that he was happy that I that I didn't ask him too. But you lucky. Next time though, if I see you again, I'm gonna ask you. Because for some reason you got into my car for a second time. Crazy. <laughs> like, I don't know a situation that I was in for you to get back in my car again. But wild. Uh and then, yeah, and then he started talking about, like, his girl and stuff like that. And then conspiracy theories and stuff. 
And I started recommending them movies for conspiracy theories. So, I mean, I guess it's not that that bad of a ride, but bro, like, bro, keep some of you, keep your personal information to yourself, dog. Nobody asked, but like at all. <laughs> nobody wanted to know <laughs> it's don't start scaring your uber drivers because you would have scared some other people me i just i'm whatever about this it. damn you got locked up for seven years and bro was talking about yeah and i was 16 hours away and stuff like that and then blah 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 like you giving me your coordinates and shit dog i don't care really don't but it's all cool though. I don't think homie is actually going to go back to prison though. I think he's a changed man. All right. I'm going to say it like that. I don't know how he was before, but he seems pretty cool to me. I'm going to say it, uh, that's just how it is. He's pretty cool. But it, uh, yeah, keep your personal information to yourself, bro. And then I had some other people. I picked up a crackhead uh, that was near like the park. For people that know uh, downtown LA, I'm talking about that little park where all the, all the people be, but picked up old dude in there and I don't, I don't know, we started talking a little bit before and I found out that he got into an argument beforehand and that he also was going to his uh, uh, medical appointment. Um, I'm not sure if it was really a medical appointment. But before you get to that part, just know like during the ride, you know, I'm I'm playing my playlist and stuff. And I don't know what the fuck he was doing back there, bro. His bro started mumbling. But I, I could tell that he was low key just he was talking, he was mumbling, talking the song. <laughs> and then I caught him, he was doing promiscuous. And bro. Bro has something completely against singing any of Nelly Furtado's part, which is crazy to me because some of her parts are a fire. But bro was refusing to do that, and then peeped him, and he peeped him uh, taking pictures of different uh, corners and stuff. So y'all probably see him around uh, up in that area. Y'all probably see him. But come to find out, dude, I ended up pulling up to the building. And it was supposed to be like some medical building and stuff like that. But dog, I would be damned if that was a medical building, bro. I would be damned. All right, that shit is abandoned, bro. That shit is abandoned. All right. Because ain't no way in hell. First off, we went three blocks into a fucking neighborhood talking about this is a fucking, a this is like some atrium building or some shit like that. Not atrium, but like, you know what I mean? Some Kaiser shit. Like, okay. That shit was definitely abandoned and we have a group of just niggas sitting outside with white folded chairs what else am i to think man no no i told bro i was like yo i hope you have a wonderful day today and he was like i am <laughs> and he got out the car happy and started walking right inside the building bro that was like oh man I just dropped off a crackhead to go get cracked. But then I thought about it later and I was like, man, at least he paid for the Uber. Bro, give him a round of applause. Crackheads is doing better than some of y'all where y'all try to cancel the Ubers at the end and stuff like that. Like y'all clever or something. Like, bitch, I'll drop you off at the fucking middle of the freeway. I'll put child lock on that bitch. Fuck with me if you want to. I'm going to keep locking it every time you try to open the door. <laughs> and we go, we going to drive you to somewhere fucking random. And I'm going to fucking kick you out. And I'm going to steal your phone. Damn. I don't know how I got to that part, though. But yeah, man. There's some crazy stuff. Or even like whenever I'm by myself, right? I see some like crazy things. I hate going downtown, dude. I hate downtown LA. And I hate fucking the west side of LA from all all the way from like I would say whatever the fuck's above Dockweiler because Dockweiler and down is not that bad but like I would say like Venice for sure 
all the way up to Beverly Hills in that area and Santa Monica and stuff like that. Dude, all I hate all y'all <laughs> with a passion, bro. Uh, let another one of y'all motherfuckers slam my door. Like, I swear, I'm a fucking bitch slap you with the fucking knife I got in my bitch. Like, what the fuck? You get bitch slapped. Like, that shit is crazy, dog. Don't slam my door. And that's wild. Like, why you want to break my door? Are you mad that you paid for that Uber? My car had nothing to do with your fucking sadness. Put some fucking respect on my car. And I know my seats back there are comfortable, too. I got a fucking luxury type car, boy. So I know that them seats back there are comfortable. You had a comfortable ride. Why you had, why you had to hurt my car? But I guess whatever, though. Anyways. That shit is some bullshit. But now, back to what I was saying, though. You, you'll be, like, by yourself. and you'll end up just seeing some crazy stuff. Like I, I was going through downtown and I was in skid row of course, skid row. You're going to see some crazy stuff. This is my skid row experience. I thought this was hilarious and I'm glad I was not involved, but boy, I ended up stopping at a, uh, at a red light. Right. And there was a gold car that ended up pulling up back behind me. Cause you know, I'm looking around cause I'm like, bro, there's people everywhere. Let's see what they do. Let's look at what they doing. Like, what the fuck they going to do to me? I'll beat the ass. That's how, that's how I feel. But I ended up seeing a gold car come up back behind me, picked up this bald headed dude and the bald headed dude got in the car. And next thing you know, I looked over to the side cause I heard dude yelling and it's a, it's like some other like black dude. He got a shopping cart and he, he was pulling a stop and he was yelling at him. And he was like, I got a 12 inch dick. I got a 12 inch dick. And he just kept repeatedly just yelling that, bro. Just over and over at them. And I was like, bro, did, did, does he know that the black ball dude is a prostitute or something? And he just started yelling his dick size like he could do better? I was like, bro, okay, I'm going to let that be. So I, I ended up looking to my right. And man, I seen Un Uncle Ruckus would be so, just so disappointed. He'd be so sad. He's, I seen two white girls over there with like two black dudes. And, and then I saw a crack pipe. And I saw that they were like getting ready. And the white girl looked up and looked at me as she was doing it. And then I was like, oh, well, so I looked back forward. And then next thing you know, a couple seconds later, the light turned green. And I was like, well, it's time to go. I was like, damn. I was like, bro, I haven't seen a homeless dude. Uh, a homeless dude get picked up for a prostitute. And then a homeless dude trying to tell him that he's better. Then look over and next thing you know, I'm seeing at least, you know, congratulations for the interracial. That's pretty cool. But y'all doing crack. <laughs> y'all doing crack midday. Like, bro, this was probably like 11 o'clock in the morning. Like, at least let it hit afternoon. But I, I mean, I, I guess they need it. They need it. Can't blame them. I don't know. Honestly, I don't even think I really have a problem with crackheads. I'm going to say it like it is. If the if a person wants to do crack, but they're like proactive, say like if homie is doing a construction job, right? Personal experience, homie was doing a construction job and found out that uh he was doing crack. So this ain't, this ain't no kind of crazy way of how I found out. Just somebody told me that he was doing crack and he wasn't denying it at all. So I'm, I'm like, dude, a productive crackhead, bro. He is the best worker. What the fuck? I don't know. I hear crackheads to do your, to do your stuff. As long as you're paying them enough to get cracked to where they don't need to feel that they have to rob you. Then, um, yeah. Dude, they'll fucking I'll be so happy doing it too. 
Hell yeah. <clears throat> I ain't got a problem with it, bro. I support it. You can take crack as long as you're able to maintain your uh your regular regular things. He's probably still he probably paying taxes and everything just doing crack. Hey, you know, that's not bad, all right? If you think in the government's eyes, uh, that's not bad. He's doing crack. But at least he's paying us his taxes like shit. You can't be mad at him. He's just living his life. All right. I wanted to talk about, well, I want to talk a little bit about my experience in the military and like some of the things that I've done so you can get a better understanding of what it's kind of like in the military because I'm going to tell you for what the fuck I remember <laughs> and uh, it ain't going to be what you think it is. So. And I always get asked like, um, oh, how did you like it? Or like what branch, blah, blah, blah. We're going to go through all that right now. All right. And for anybody that got directed to this video by me, I did not want to explain this at this moment because it just was just too long. <laughs> it was a little bit too long for me to say. And plus these rides are only about like probably like between like 10 to like 20 or so if it's a longer ride then we're not talking about just this so i don't where i'm not letting that happen either <laughs> all right but yeah man so first things first um my job branch and all that blah 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 bullshit uh all the regular regular things that y'all want to ask me is right now so I was in the Marines, so I am, yes, a Marine veteran, and my job was being a network administrator at the end. It did not start off as that. I was at first a wire dog, or aka a wire man, but wire dog is just way cooler to say. And then I got switched over to being a network administrator. So that's really what it is. Um, I'm from the East Coast. I went to Paris Island. Then I ended up going to California, 29, 29 Palms. And I went out to Japan. And then I went to Arizona. I was in Japan for two years. It was pretty fucking cool. I had to say, like, it's pretty fucking cool. Y'all should go to Japan. It is pretty fucking nice. Yeah. Yeah. But I let my intrusive thoughts take over right there. My bad. I don't know why. But. Anyways, man, go to Japan. It's pretty cool. But let me actually tell y'all fully of the experiences from I would go through. I'm going to go through each location. I'm going to go through like one experience. All right. Of what I fully remembered of what happened. And I'm not I'm talking about this is like during work. This is all during work. So this isn't like an activity that's outside of work. This is all this is all work stuff, okay? I I've gotten paid for this. Just to or just to let you know. I got paid for this. So, first things first. Paris Island boot camp. My god. Yes, it's hard, but that shit is fucking hilarious. I don't know if I just have a fucked up mind. That shit is hilarious. There is only one thing that happened in there that I, I did not like at all. And I did not think that shit was funny. And that, and that was, uh, somebody ended up getting what we called a scush brush or some shit like that shoved up his ass. Okay, that's the only thing that I did not think that was funny 
whatsoever because i was like bro they literally violated dude and they're just gonna let this fucking shit go and honestly dude uh i don't know what they're gonna do about it it whatever they swept that shit right the fuck up under the rug and uh, there was nothing i could have done about it and homie didn't homie didn't even say anything else about it anymore and he just left it alone so i'm not i'm not stepping up for that shit anyways but dude there was some funny ass shit um i personally have been fucking sumo slapped i have been dragged yeah dude if they say bro let me tell y'all something don't listen to people when they tell you that they don't hit in fucking boot camp, bro. I I got hit. All right. I I got my shit rocked by them fucking drill instructors, dog. Bro, and I don't know what it is, but it was black on black crime with one of them. Cause I swear, bro, you, you did not need to do me like you did me. That is crazy. I still laughed at it and I still called you a bitch afterwards, you fucking bitch. <laughs> like like bro what <laughs> oh dude it was it was hilarious i think boot camp is hilarious because you have to not laugh and my god dude eh. oh man that shit is hilarious all right just know them hair them haircuts are gonna hurt because them up uh, they just this is how they cut your hair okay i want to let you know this is their motion, all right, bro? They got, they treat your head like it's a fucking, like they're trying to fucking polish their car or some shit, bro. It is crazy. Like, and they're just, they're scratching on that bitch. Like, what the fuck? Anyways, that is, that is like my experience. Oh, and I had glasses and I had the strap going in the back. Get sumo slapped with glasses on from a motherfucker that's doing it to you as almost as hard as possible. That shit hurts. <laughs> that shit hurts. But dude, I I like it. I actually have him as a friend on PlayStation. I just, like I don't I don't take that shit personal. Like that's that shit is strictly all business. But that that was pretty funny. Like, uh, boot camp is fucking hilarious, right? Would I ever do it again? Fuck no, I would never do that shit ever again. But mm -mm, that shit was funny. That, yeah, people falling asleep in church and then, <laughs> and then getting IT because they fell asleep in church. You'd be praying. They, they'll they have us like pray almost every night, right? And the next thing you know, you'd be like, okay, we're going to put Jesus away. Put him away. Jesus, Jesus gotta go. <laughs> Ain't no more Jesus here. Like, I was like, damn, dude. Oh, that's horrible. Uh, uh dude, that was hilarious, man. Boot camp is hilarious. Um, what else? Oh, 29 palms. Yet again, dude, this is another situation that I ended up going through. This is all during work. Y'all paid for this. <laughs> Y'all are paying for this. All right. So. Just know, right. That. All in all, when you're in the schoolhouse and blah, 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 males are not supposed to go into females rooms. OK. Whatever, bro. So. I ended up going in there because i was hungry and i wanted a motherfucking snack and she told me to go in there and just grab one little did i know her neighbor is an op and her neighbor decided to tell blah 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 so it it went up the usual thing where snitches go back to the other snitches and they just they snitch going just up just one snitch goes to another snitch that goes to another snitch and they just, they just don't know how to shut the fuck up and just stop right there and be like, okay, like we can handle it from here type of deal. But whatever the fuck ended up going all the way up to first sergeant. 
which first sergeant is an E8 for the Marines. So y'all can look up rankings. Yeah. Anyways, uh, went all the way up to her and she got mad and blah, 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 was yelling at me, blah, blah, blah. They were doing all this threatening bullshit. It was all bluff. Um, at the end of the day, I ended up just taking over. I had to do like fire watch for like the whole week, basically, which is me having to wake up in the morning and walk around for four hours and then go back to sleep. That's all it was. Anyways, I had to end up doing that. Then during it was it was like during the the night, right? That um she ended up stopping everything and she called everybody out. Sigh. Like this is an order. That means work. All right. So she ordered everybody to come outside just to give a rant for I don't I think it was like I think it was like an hour or so long just about what I did. She never said my name, but she was staring the fuck at me. <laughs> she was staring so hard at me. And I'm sorry for um anybody that sees this and knows exactly what I'm talking about and they were there. That was my fault. I'm sorry, but she just, she, she did some unnecessary bullshit that was unnecessary, but she was just went on a rant. She went on, she talked about Harry Potter and then she talked about just like other, just different random things just to like fuck with us because she was mad. I didn't get NJP because they were just like, no, he wasn't going in there to actually do anything that like he just went in there to grab an item. And I show, and I also showed them the item too. Cause I still had the fucking wrapper, bro. I was not done with that snack. All right. I still, and I ate the fuck out that snack too. My accomplishment. But yeah, man, I'm sorry for all y'all, but this is what also worked, bro. This is what happens, dude. They will go, they will stop everything and make you go into formation just to yell at you. <laughs> Bro, for it'll be for something that one person did and everybody has to get yelled at. So dumb, bro. It is so stupid. It's it's dumb. This is why a lot of people feel like they can't actually learn their job. It's because dumb shit like that. Which going on to, um, let's see here, we'll go to Okinawa because that was the next place. All right. There was this whole thing where we had field days, right? And it's every Thursday. It's either Monday or Thursday. It's usually Monday or Thursday. If you're in a unit that says Friday, that's weird. That's kind of different. Unless that's just become a common thing now. For me, it was either Monday or Thursday. But it was on Thursday. We were having field day. And we ended up having to start early because I think we, there was like some cleaning issues before. So they just had us field day the whole day. So that was our work. That was our job. And we couldn't do anything else but clean. So I ended up. I was cleaning what we call the uh the laundry room. <laughs> but we was cleaning the laundry room and stuff and then next thing you know the staff started coming in and he's from a whole different like uh shop, all right? So he's from a whole different unit, right? And he was like bossing us around, of course, because he's a staff sergeant and he was mad at our shop because uh our shop was was the shit. Or he probably has his own personal grudges or whatever the fuck. So he had us basically was like, oh, we need to move. We had we moved the uh the washers and dryers, and he was like, we need to sweep them up up under him. So we did them. We we had to wait for him to come back because he told us not to leave. So he ended up coming back dumb later. It was almost like an hour later, and we were done after 15 minutes. So he ends up coming back and be like, oh, no, and then 
what are y'all doing? Like, why y'all just sitting here? Like, this place is still dirty, blah, blah, blah. And then he was like, y'all need to mop the walls, right? Mop the fucking walls, right? We mop walls, dog. Like, we mop walls, right? Because he was like, they're dirty, so we mopped them. I was like, cool. So he, he stayed there, like, with us. And was like, kind of like he like would go in and out to check on us. And then when he saw that we were like finished, he was like, y'all are not done because you still have the ceiling. That's where I took a fucking turn. And I was like, bro, you really want us to mop the fucking ceiling? And then he got into like some little pissy mood and stuff like that. And he was like, that's that sergeant. And yes, you're going to mop the fucking ceiling. I was like, bet. We're going to mop the fucking ceiling, you guys. I took the fucking mop with a little, it's like one of those little sponge mops, right? Because, you know, broke, broke people shit. Took the fucking sponge mop and I took that bitch in the hallway and I put it on the fucking ceiling and I ran down the hallway and I ran back to him and I was like, we're going to get this bitch. I was like, we're going to get this bitch done real quick, Cesar. No worries. <laughs> Just know he ended up taking that mop and told me to go to my room. I got grounded, dog. Imagine, bro. I did exactly what he said. I mopped the ceiling. So he can't be mad. All right. I just did it in a different way. And I told him, and I basically took the initiative. As I am a good noodle. And I ran down the whole fucking hallway. And I was going to do the whole hallway. I was like, if we're going to mop the ceiling, we might as well do this whole bitch. That's just me, though. That's You, you start thinking like that. Once you're, once you've been into, like, you know, your unit for a good minute. I was, I was already in there for almost two years. So that's how you start thinking. All right, you just start to become a degenerate, and it's okay because I got grounded. Yeah, <laughs> like oh, dude, that is crazy, man. And not only was it like we would we would get grounded a lot. Like I don't think y'all understand of how they treat people in the military, like. Them saying lockdown is them telling us that you're grounded. Sometimes they'll even tell us that we can't leave the barracks, boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> They're like, bro, you have to. They'll have us in a curfew. They had us in a curfew one time. I think it was like at like nine o'clock or something like that. It was like nine or ten o'clock that we had to be back at our barracks and we couldn't be outside. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh man, grown adults. So imagine being fucking 21, getting grounded by not even your own parent. <laughs> oh man, just know we had some crazy barracks parties because they wasn't stopping them parties though. We would prepare, but we would, the what we call the shop at or the little PX or whatever with alcohol. Bro, that bitch will be sold out so many times. Oh, and let there be a typhoon too. Gone, bro. Everything's gone. You have to get off of work early. Like, you have to come up with an excuse to leave work early so you can head there to get the beer or the liquor that you want. Are you just going to be SOL? <laughs> like, it, it would be horrible, dog. There is... I got so used to Budweiser and I was happy that people wouldn't take Budweiser. They'll take like other stuff first. Like they'll take like the, uh, they'll take the Bud Lights or they'll take the cores, all that fucking piss water that has no alcohol in it. They would take those first and I was happy because I would be set with a 30 rack boy. I was, I'd complete a 30 rack in a weekend. No problem. None. Probably some alcoholism, but I ain't had no problems with it though. We were cool. I'm telling you, bro, we were tight. 
Not anymore though. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of stopped drinking uh, alcohol. It's been actually helping me lose weight. So pretty cool with it. I'm actually at 236 now. Oh, I, my peak was 275. Dog, I was fucking. I was trying to be like Thor. Anyways, that's that's mainly what what happened. That's those are the type of stuff that would happen when I was in Okinawa. All right. You ever if you ever heard of a Chinese field day, bro? Just know you gonna be cleaning for a good minute, and you better hope that your shop doesn't have a lot of stuff in it. Cause damn boy, Chinese field days were horrible. And for people that don't know what a Chinese field day is, um, just know it's basically you take literally everything out of your shop. And you sweep and mop, and you clean all this stuff, and then you put them bitches back up in there and organize it. We will have whole days of that. That would take a whole day. There's another time where me and a, and a sergeant was having conflict. Me and two sergeants actually were having conflict. So they told me is either you get this paperwork or the whole shop. Chinese field day. Man, I did that Chinese field day with a smile, boy. I was laughing like a motherfucker. I don't think really anybody was that mad about it, too, because this whatever is <laughs> just whatever, bro. They seen what happened. They already understood. They already understood. But yeah, man, done that. Um, Yuma, dude. Let me tell you what this is. This is what happened majority of the days in Yuma. Right. And then I'll give you another thing of what I did. But majority of my days in Yuma was me getting a ride from somebody to go sit down on a couch and not really do much of shit, <laughs> bro. I dude, They don't do anything there like for a good minute, they wasn't doing anything. There was literally nothing to do. And to be honest, the people that knew like how to like set up shit and like how to build like networks and stuff like that weren't teaching, bro. There weren't actually really people there to teach the job. <laughs> so for a good minute, I, dude, for months, I sat there and not really did much of shit, dude. Crazy. We would do so much inventory. They would have us do SO3 left and right, left and right, right to left. Didn't fucking matter, dude. We we will go on ops though, and then we'll do we'll do like we'll we'll build stuff on ops. That's when we actually like work on stuff. But if it wasn't on the op, bro, we wasn't doing much of shit. We was doing we wasn't doing as much of anything that they ended up having us work with Border Patrol, dog. I work with Border Patrol. Da -da -da -da. But like that was whack. Because first off, I helped pay for an Airbnb for my birthday weekend and they put me on there and it went out May 1st. My birthday is May 5th. I didn't get to go because I had shipped. I Dude, and it made me so mad because if you ever been to Arizona, Arizona is hot, right? Now, Yuma is the ass crack of Arizona. So we're at the corner of Arizona, right near the border, bro. It is dumb hot. And we it was out there and with the vest, the Kevlar, everything fully, fully out there. And that hot ass sun, bro. Ah. Oh. And then for some reason, they brought African bees into the desert. So yeah, in Yuma Desert, apparently, like Border Patrol told us, like, yeah, be careful of the bees because those are actually African bees and we don't know how they got there. So somebody brought African bees and put them out in that dumbass desert. Ah, oh, dude, ah, oh. it pissed me off so fucking much. But we wouldn't do anything but sit in there 
and look at a camera. But sometimes we had to be on posts that was on top of a mountain. So they had your boy climbing a mountain to look through some binoculars and try to find people. Bro, I was damn if I was doing any of that. <laughs> bro, y'all just had me climb a mountain with all this equipment on me, bro. Uh, dude, that shit. At that time, that pissed me off. I was like, bro, I am never trying to be in this situation ever again. I was, that was solidifying me. If that's even for reserves. Dude, I was like, dude, fuck this bullshit. Because it would be eight hour shifts, right? But the problem is, is that it's eight hours of like you actually being out there. But you have to get out there. Sometimes those trips are two hours long, bro. And then we have to stop at the back of the border patrol place to drop off our stuff and then go back. Oh my God, dude. It, I had, it was like 12 or 13 hour shifts from time to time, boy. I, I hated it. It was so much. And I was in the fucking, so I was in like the peak. I was in like the noon part two. So I was peak heat oh god horrible horrible all right hated it hated it because i would go out i'll be out there between i think i was like two two so he's not even in the hottest point of the day i'm i'm going through the hottest point of the day of the start oh it was pissing me off from the beginning oh, i was so mad the only time that was fun was when you was driving the truck and you would drive that bitch 90 miles down a dirt road. And then you would try to make a hard ass fucking turn. Honestly, there is multiple times where I have almost flipped that bitch. <laughs> and and I, the dude back beside me is dumb sleep, but I have almost flipped that bitch. I've, I've been, I was rolling on two wheels for a good amount of time multiple times and then one other time me and my homie uh we were driving and he found like this road with bumps boy we sent one of them motherfuckers flying <laughs> uh we broke the bumper off i know we broke a little bit of pieces of bumper off or something like that something broke off and the truck apparently f-150s if they go airborne there's a system inside of there that completely turns off the truck Okay, didn't know. We found we found out. Just know your F one fifty. Don't let that bitch go airborne, or it's gonna shut the fuck off. So if you escaping, if you if you airborne, that better be the rest, because this shuts off and it takes a couple of seconds for it to come back on too. It's pretty fucking whack. But yeah, dude, that's like different events that has happened basically. Of like what I clearly remember. There's some there's some other stuff that's happening like ops, but I didn't want to go through all that. Just know there's more stuff that's kind of like that than just know my job is to be a network administrator. Bro, really? <laughs> all those times that I was telling y'all about, those times happen more like like similar events happen like those way more often than you doing work just saying <laughs> boy just saying for if you're for a marine right this is for a marine i'm not saying anything else for other branches or anything like that but for a marine yeah this is that's the type of stuff that was happening so all right this is the question that i was talking about earlier but it goes, you and three other celebrities gets teleported into a typical isekai. What three other celebrities are coming and what are y'all powers? All right. So this is basically a party of four, right? And we all have different powers and stuff like that. I mainly went off of like kind of like dungeons and dragons type classes i'm not picking skills or anything like that so 
for all y'all want to get in depth. I'm not doing that. Nope. I'm not doing it. These are just the different classes, basically, that I would have and the celebrities that will be there. All right. First things first, I got my tank. Okay. My tank is Marshawn Lynch. And he is a berserker. Okay. It fits him perfectly. And plus, he's pretty funny and he knows how to keep things entertaining. So he's definitely one of them that's coming. And he's strong as fuck too. So he if he gets trained to be a berserker, that's crazy. Like Marshawn Lynch as a berserker is kind of wild. All right. So that's one. That's my tank. Um, DPS for my damage, my fighters. All right. First, we got, um, what's her name? Uh, Jenna Ortega. That's her name. Yeah. I, it's kind of that chick. She would be a shadow monk. All right. And then plus with the dynamic of how like the team is, I feel like it would be a it would be kind of a weird fit in, but it would kind of work out in a way. Just just let me get to my third person. It would make more sense, kind of, I hope. But it makes sense in my head, right? It makes sense in my head. But she would be a shadow monk. And then I would have Ryan Reynolds as a bard. Boy, y'all can't tell me Ryan Reynolds would not be an excellent fucking bard, boy. That shit would be great. Then the pair up with Marshawn Lynch, too. Honestly, he would probably be the leader of the team. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right. He we will be probably following him. Okay. Cause I, I'm I'm probably not gonna be the leader, honestly. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't I ain't gonna be the leader. Cause me, I would be a druid. Yep. Your boy shall be the support. All right. I will keep this bitch afloat. Y'all just lead the way. Go. I follow. <laughs> I'm saying. Like, I I would be a druid 100 percent and I would do like healing. Now, if I can be able to transform though into an animal, it gotta be a bear. And I want that bear to be like Diablos. Okay. I want that bear to be like Diablo's Diablo four fire. Okay. Fire. your not saying that I'm saying just know it would be the war bear one, right? Okay. That's the one that I would go with because I would be doing healing. I don't want, I don't want no electricity or shit like that. But that bear, we going with that bear, boy. That bear from Diablo 4. 100%. Smashing on the ground. Bow, bow. I'll be up there with Marshawn Lynch as he's going crazy. I'm like, bow, bow, boy. And then I'll turn back into myself. And like, you know, I can be able to heal. Hey, man, that'd be lit. I'd be lit as fuck. But yeah, no. I want to know what y'all think, though. For that question, again, I'm going to repeat the question. But tell me tell me what y'all think, all right? Hold on, let me get to this question. All right? The question is, you and three other celebrities get teleported into a typical isekai. What three other celebrities are coming with you? And what are all y'all powers? All right, y'all let me know, bruh. 
let me know. That's that's who I would pick personally. And I felt like I just needed to add like a female onto the team. And I didn't know really who, because I don't know what like really females even know, like martial arts and stuff like that. But I had to put Ryan Reynolds as a bard and I am definitely a healer. So we needed another physical like DPS. And I was just going to pick. That's the first one that really popped up. Typed in uh, actors in their 20s. And she was one of the first ones that popped up. And I was like, uh, she seems like she would be a shadow monk, honestly. And it makes sense. It makes sense to me. She did Wednesday. Dark and dark. Dark and dark. All right. That's what I thought. So I don't know. I think my team is pretty lit. And that shit is pretty dope. So let me know what y'all pick. All right. I really want to know what y'all pick. That's a pretty, that's a pretty cool fucking thing. And I want to know like their powers too. Like not, not like as in like what their abilities are, but just like the classes or what classes that they would be. So it's four of y'all in total. You and three others that are celebrities. Let me know. Let me know. But yeah, man, dude, this is the end of the episode. I'm going to miss y'all. Yeah, I need to stop actually posting these shits hella late. All right. I'm a, the next one. Honestly, I'm going to do it around like the 20th or the 25th. Um, Between one of those days, I'm going to do it between then. But I don't want to do it this late in a month, man. It's the 28th. I'm probably not even going to post this until like the 29th or or 30th or 31st. I don't even know if September goes to 31st, to be honest with you. But damn. But yeah, man. Y'all take care. Stay blessed. Peace.